Hey everyone, it is Tuesday. I am feeling a whole lot better than I felt yesterday. Hope you're feeling good. Hope you're having a great day. I'd like for us to spend the next several days looking at passages from Paul's first letter to the people of Thessalonica, that book we call First Thessalonians. Paul's visit to Thessalonica is found in the book of Acts, chapter 17, the first nine verses. Paul had to leave Thessalonica in a hurry because of a mob that had been stirred up by the jealous Jewish officials. But the little group that did receive his preaching there in Thessalonica became a church. And 1 Thessalonians is one of Paul's earliest letters as he gives advice and counsel and encouragement to this new group of believers. So today let's read 1 Thessalonians 1, 2, and 3. We read, We always thank God for all of you and continually mention you in our prayers. We remember before our God and Father your work produced by faith, your labor prompted by love, and your endurance inspired by hope in our Lord Jesus Christ. Paul mentions there three things about the Thessalonian Christians that he's thankful for. Their work, produced by faith, their labor, prompted by love, and their endurance, inspired by hope. To work for the gospel in a hostile environment like Thessalonica was difficult. But the Christians there had faith. Faith in God. Faith in the message that Paul had given them, and faith in the Jesus that he had told them about. Faith in themselves to carry that message to their community. Faith in their friends and family to receive it. Their faith was their motivation for their work for Christ. Similarly, their labors were motivated by love. We sometimes describe a a project as a labor of love. That usually means it was something close to our heart a labor that almost didn't feel like work because it was so dear to the person. Sharing Jesus is a labor of love. We share Jesus because of our love for him and our love for those who need him. Paul also commends their endurance, inspired by hope in Christ. What allows a a marathon runner to keep running those last few miles? It's hope. What allows us to keep working for the kingdom of God? It is our hope. Paul writes about hope in Romans 5, 2 through 5, where he says, We boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our sufferings, because we know that suffering produces perseverance, and perseverance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not disappoint. Faith, hope, love don't disappoint. They don't disappoint because they come from God, and God is good all the time. 